Hey everyone, my name is Kathy. I go by Ginger Marvin on Instagram and YouTube. I am a full-time reseller, which means I sell items, mostly gently used clothes and shoes, on apps like Kitizen, Mercari, eBay, and Poshmark. And today I'm going to talk to you guys about um, my favorite kid shoe brands to sell. And these are going to be shoes that sell for $20 or more shipped. So. Let's just jump right into it. I'm going to be doing a screen recording as I talk to you guys just so you can see on the screen and follow along. So the first brand I have written down here is Vans. And these aren't in any specific order, um, just in the order that they came to my mind. So first up, we got Vans. So Vans I can generally get, I would say right around the $25 mark if they're in very good condition or better. Um, if they're in worse shape, like you're going to see these camo vans here, I sold them for $15.75. Those were in play condition. They had a lot of scuffs, um, fading on the toe area, and they were just very dirty on the edges. So those ones sold for less, but generally you can get around $25 for a bigger kid size, maybe even $30. Um, so you'll just see all these here. These Disney vans are going to be adult ones, the Disney Princess, the ones that you see here. So those ones sold for a higher amount because they were adult. And if you click on it, I actually don't remember what, it, those sold for less than the $79.95 that it's showing. I remember sending an offer, but I can't remember how much. But Disney vans are definitely going to sell for more, like the ones below it, the Mickey Mouse, those ones did sell for $40. Um, so you can usually get $40 for a little baby Disney vans and then for more like of a youth Disney van I would say more in that $50 range you could probably get um, but yeah general vans some of these you can see are listed for $19.95 those probably are in good condition meaning that they are have a little wear but nothing major so even in that shape you can get about 20 bucks for them so just scrolling down, you can see all the different ones. Some, I just kind of price them with what comes to my mind when I'm listing based on condition and everything like that. So that's why you see such a price differential. Um, I'm basing it on condition, size, um, like obviously if it's a character or a cool print, that's probably going to warrant a little bit higher of a price. Just some regular black ones are just going to be around the $20 range. And at the bottom here you can see um, these little baby ones. I call these crib shoes. I think that's what they're called. Soft sole crib shoes. These ones I can generally get $15 to $18 for. So I, I always pick those up as well when I find them for just a couple dollars. Alright, so next brand on the list is going to be Play. And that is... It's spelled P-L-A-E. So if you've been watching any of my What Soul videos, this is a brand I sell pretty often. So let's just find it on the list. So I, I did want to mention as I'm scrolling here, people have asked on Kitizen if you can just type the brand in instead of like scrolling through the whole list. And sadly you cannot. You do have to just keep scrolling until you find the item. So what I do is just click on the letter on the side. So these are P, so I would click on P and then just scroll the P's. Um, with Play Shoes, these top ones that you're seeing are called Play Mimo. Um, those are like a water shoe. They have the, the holes in them. Kids can play, get wet in them. Um, you know, the first ones I sold for 20, those ones were pretty rough shape. You can see some scuffing on the toes and they're just pretty dirty. Um, I don't like to do much cleaning of my shoes. If they can go in the washing machine, I'll wash them. Sometimes I'll take a magic eraser if I see a really kind of dirty spot, but for the most part, I just sell them as is. It's not worth my time to clean them up for the extra couple bucks that I might get out of it. So I'll just sell them a couple bucks less and the person that buys them will clean them up. So those are called the Mimos. Those are going to sell anywhere from 20 You can see the ones right under those sold for 35 Those ones were in basically perfect condition. The water shoes do, I believe, retail right at that $35 mark, so that's why I charged that much. Um, it was a sold out color and yeah, so if somebody wanted them, they had to buy them from me or a reseller or somebody that had them from when they were in stock on Play's website. 
Um, next to those, you're going to see some of the hiking boots. So those are going to sell for a higher price. They also retail for more. I think those retail 70 to 80. Um, so I sold those ones for 40. Um, the ones down below that, you're going to see with the skeleton tabs. Those are those were in play condition. So those ones sold a little bit less, um, just under 18 dollars. So yep, they also have the Sam sandals, those ones sell 25 to 30, pretty much most any in good shape you're gonna get 25 to 34. Excellent shape, I would say 30 to 35. The boots you can go more like closer to that $40 range. But yeah, Play is definitely a good brand to look out for, even like in super like beat up, even with holes you could probably get like $15 for a pair, so. Alright, next up on my list, I have Nike, but I also have Splash Jordan, and that's because Kittizen now has Jordan as a brand, but um, when I first started Kittizen, they didn't, so I listed all my Nike as, all my Jordan shoes under Nike, so. Up top here, you're going to see some of the Sunray sandals, so those are really good. Every summer, so I buy most of my kids shoes at Once Upon a Child. Every summer they have like a sandals kickoff and I will be there at the door when they open and just grab up all the shoes that are good for me. So generally I find at least 10 pairs of these Nike Sunray sandals and I buy them all and they always sell usually between 20 to $25 for me. Um, these top ones here were brand new so those ones sold closer to $30. But yeah, most Nikes, uh, the sneakers, you're going to get about $25 unless they're like a special or more special um, style or something. So like these Nike Kyrie ones, I got $34. These Nike Air Max were a bigger kid size. So you can see they were 7 youth. So those did sell for, I don't think they sold for 60 I think they sold for, I think I sent an offer to that person for like 50 or something. But they were basically brand new and they were a bigger kid size, which means... They retailed for more to begin with, but yeah, anything that I have very condition, very good condition or better for Nike, I'm going to price it between $25 to $30. Anything in good condition, maybe a little bit of wear, like these ones here you can see were my son's, so they were just worn in a little bit more. I priced those just under $20, so you can see the bottoms are really dirty and I didn't want to clean them, so I just sold them as is. So I could have thrown them in the wash and they probably would have sold for 23 24 bucks but that would have taken me more time that would have you know I only do laundry like once a week so it just would have prolonged me listing them all together so I just like to get stuff moving but yeah um Nike is a great brand to look out for pretty much everything sells so this one here that I'm going to open up these I would consider not very good of a style. So like these I think I paid like two bucks for them which is why I picked them up. But this is not a style I would normally pick up. So yeah. <laughs> so just kind of stick with what's in style. Um, next to that you see some slide sandals. Slide sandals are great to look out for. These ones were women's. If you didn't know you can also sell women's items on Kittizen. And but yeah. They sold for a little under 20 I think I somebody asked if I'd take less on those but almost always I can get twenty dollars for the slide sandals um, so yeah you can see just keep scrolling some more mama shoes yeah the mama ones are gonna go for a lot more um, I always look the mama Nikes up when I say mama I'm talking about women's women's Nikes up on eBay first before I list them to get a better idea of a comp for that um, so like little Nike baby crib shoes like these LeBrons here you can see those usually get the same amount $25 people love the little baby shoes you can see the baby Air Force ones yeah so yeah definitely keep a, um, an eye out for Nike every you're gonna find these all the time um, such a popular brand Nikes are everywhere so yeah just keep your eyes open for the Nike. And then let's just peek at the Jordans really quick. Um, 
Some Jordans can go for uh, quite a bit more, but for the most part, I think most of the ones I sell are again in that $25 to $30 range. So, yeah, the ones I have, I have a few here listed at $35. It looks like that, that, that sold, so, yeah. $25 to $30, I would say, um, $35 for the bigger sizes. You know, again, you can look up the style code on the tag inside. It's like a six-digit number and a dash and then a three-digit number. So that's on Nikes and Jordans. So if I don't know if it's a new style to me, I just looked that up really quick. Um, I did want to mention that Nike and Jordan seem to sell really well through Facebook. So if you didn't know, on Kitizen, there's a Facebook cross-listing program so all you have to do is click one button inside your settings and it cross posts all your items for you to Facebook marketplace no additional costs or anything on your end for that and yeah I've sold a ton of Nike shoes and Jordan shoes through the Facebook marketplace so if you need any help with that just DM me on Instagram at ginger Marvin um, if you're not on Kitizen but want to try it out there should be a link down below all right, next brand on my list is going to be Freshly Picked. So these are some little baby moccasins. Um, if you watched, again, my What Sold videos, I've sold a number of these. I find them all the time at the Once Upon a Child, and even though they mark, like, Carter's and all the other shoes, moccasins at, like, $4.50, they always sell these for $2.50, and I always have, like, a 20% off coupon. So basically, I'm always getting these little moccasins for about 2 bucks. So... There's not a ton in my solds. I think I sell most of these on either Poshmark, Mercari, and eBay. So again, I'm my screen recording is showing my kid is in sales just because it's easy to scroll, but these brands are going to sell across the board um, basically for the same prices. So freshly picked. Um, they retail for $60. They're really nice quality leather baby moccasin. They were featured on Shark Tank, I think, a few years ago, and I think that's what got them to be popular for a while. Um, the sale prices have definitely went down, but I can still usually get 25 to 30 for excellent condition. Um, the ones you're seeing here are pretty beat up, so they were a little bit lower. But yeah, even these I got $16 for, and they were like super worn with scuffs and almost like a hole through them. So it's definitely a good brand to look out for if you can get them for the right price. Okay, next up we got the Native Shoes, and you guys hear me talk about this brand all the time. It's one of my favorites for my kids. They're super easy to just wash, and they're like a, basically a water shoe. It reminds me of Crocs, but I like the style better, so they do have different styles as well. So these are the top five here that you're seeing. These are the whole shoes. That's what my sons call them. Um because they have holes in them so uh, next to that you're seeing these mercury light knit so that's more of like a sneaker and then let's see if there's anything else yeah so down here are the charlie sandals so those are like more of a velcro open toe sandal so they have different styles they also make adult shoes as well um, but yeah I find that the kids ones sell a lot better than the adult ones but yeah these you know, if they're in excellent condition, you can probably get anywhere from 25 to 30. Um, if they're brand new, you can probably get 30 to 35. Most of ours are pretty beat up by the time I list them, and the thrift ones I find are usually pretty beat up, and I can usually still get 20 to 25 on them. So the ones that you're seeing for less than that mean that they're in play condition. All right, next up, we're going to do... Keen. I'm sure everyone's heard of Keen. So yeah, Keen has sandals, but they also have hiking boots. They also have like sneakers. So I pick up pretty much any Keen. Um, they can sell the sandals. I usually get around 25. I've been trying to slowly up my pricing closer to the $30 range. So I always like to price a little higher to leave room for offers. So I usually price between 25 to 30. These are like just toddler baby sizes. If it's a used size, I might push it like more in that 30, even pushing $35 range. But yeah, the toddler ones almost always sell right at that $25 mark. 
if you list them in the middle of winter, they're probably not going to sell right away. But if you list them right at the beginning of summer, you know, March, April, May, those are going to sell really fast. Um, here you're seeing the boots. So these ones usually sell anywhere from 35 to 40 for me. They're really nice to look out for. Um, and then we got some Keen baby shoes. Um, so yeah, I pick up all sorts of Keens and... I'm, unless they're in play condition again, you're almost always going to get over 20 bucks for them. You see some rain boots, some snow boots. Alright, next up on the list is going to be Mini Melissa. Um, so Mini Melissa, they're like the jelly sandal type shoes. They have a lot of different styles and then they also have an adult version. So you're going to hear that a lot. Most of these shoes have an adult version. Um, so there's Mini Melissa, and then there's Mel, I believe, and then there's Melissa, I think is the adult version, so. Alright, so, I don't know why, I know I've sold more than this, but they're not showing up for some reason. But yeah, uh, some of them you can get about $30 for, um, again, this is a brand that's going down in price, in my opinion. When I first started selling them, I could get $30 pretty quickly. Now, if I price that $30, i am sitting on them a while. So, I would say more like $25 to $30. But yeah, they're the like cute. Like, these two are cats. But I've sold seashells. They have so many different ones. I wish... I don't know. I know I've sold more than this. I don't know why they're not showing up. Let me see really fast. If you didn't know, I used to actually have a second shop named Gingerbread Treads. <laughs> and it was a shop just to sell shoes from because I love selling shoes. And back in the day on Kittizen, I I liked to run higher discounts on my main Gingerbread Thread shop. And I didn't want to include my shoes in those discounts, so I started a second shop. But now, they have... Um, Back then you couldn't send offers to carts or anything like that. So now th with that, I like to just keep everything together. So I stopped using that second account probably two years ago. Okay, I'm sure I've scrolled past it like 15 times. Mini Melissa. Alright, yeah, there's some more here. So you can see they have some Disney ones. Yeah, just different cherries. Um... But yeah, just really cute jelly sandals. If you didn't know, Mini Melissa's has a scent to them. So, like, they kind of have a sweet smell. So, there are a lot of fakes out there. Although the fakes that I've come across aren't... They're not faking them and calling them Mini Melissa. They're called, like, Mini Set or different brand names. Um, those ones definitely don't have the sweet scent. So, I know it's kind of weird to smell shoes. But if you're ever concerned if they're real or not, you could just kind of do the smell test like that all right so after mini melissa is livy and luca uh, this is a really good brand i like to look out for again these retail i think in the 60 dollars range um they're really nice leather made shoes so yeah i can usually get about i try for half off retail on most of my shoes unless they're like something special where you can get close to retail Anyway, so here you're going to see, like, the baby shoes I can get about $25 for. Those are, like, the soft sole crib ones at the top. Um, the cuter, or the toddler styles, like, these are going to go, I've gotten 35 So, Livy and Luca, I would say most of the time you can get about $30 for. Uh, the pedals and stuff like that, you might be able to get, like, 35 And, yeah, but it's definitely a great brand to look out for. If you haven't heard of that, I do. I don't find them a ton, but I get super excited when I do find them because they sell well for me. All right, next up is UGG. I'm sure everybody has heard of UGG, and everybody knows how expensive UGG is. So the baby shoes do sell really well. Um, these top few pairs here you can see are just the little crib shoes, the little crib booties. These retail around $60, so I can almost always get $30. I usually price around $35 and let them 
make an offer if somebody carts it. Um, but yeah, then some of, I don't think I've sold any of the regular ones. So yeah, all these are just crib booties that you're seeing here. But on other platforms like eBay, I have sold some of the regular, more like of a toddler or a bigger girl styles. Those ones retail for like 130 and so you can usually get 40 to 50 bucks, even pushing 60 sometimes if they're in great shape. So definitely look out for Uggs. I find them even at $10. I'll pick them up because I know that they're going to sell. And with that saying that, I'll pick them up for $10. So definitely don't listen to me about what to pay for stuff. So only do if you feel comfortable doing so. I'm, I've i been selling all these brands for so long that I'll pay up for things because I know that they're going to sell. It doesn't even feel like a risk most of the time. I'm like 100% sure that all my Uggs will sell by the end of winter. So even if I spend 10 bucks and have to hold it for a few months, I'm able to do that. But if you need your money and your cash flow, you know, don't spend $10 on a pair of Uggs in the middle of summer. So do what works for you. Um, but yeah, I'm not going to really tell you how much to buy these shoes for because that would just have to, you just kind of have to figure that out for your business model. All right, after Uggs, I have Adidas. So Adidas are kind of like Nike. I would say about $25 to $30 is what I price most of them at. Here you're seeing um, some adult ones. Yeah, those sold for a bit more. But yeah, Adidas are great to look out for. And yeah, 25 to 30 bucks. Uh, if you can pick them up for five bucks, they ship for most of my Adidas, like the toddler ones, ship for under four dollars. So definitely something worth picking up. All right, after Adidas, I have saltwater sandals. Again, this is, you know, they have adult versions if you want to match your baby. Um, so saltwater sandals. I usually price again in that $25 to $30 range. Uh, these ones here you're seeing are really dirty. That's why these ones are priced a lot lower. So, but yeah, even that you can see I got $17.10 for some pretty rough up ones. So, I love finding saltwater sandals. They sell really well in the summer as well. Um, they come in, so I'm calling on saltwater, but like there's different brands I believe so like these are Sun Sand Surfer and then there's just the saltwater I think there's like Sweetheart they also have um, more of a fisherman sandal that's more for like a boy type one I mean I, these are all pretty unisex in my opinion but yeah I must have sold the fisherman sandals on a different platform but yeah 25 to 30 bucks pretty easily on those if they're in good shape all right, next up we got Hunter Boots. Everyone knows Hunter Boots, right? So again, these are something that retails for 60 bucks. And so if you can list them for half of that, you're gonna sell them pretty quickly. I usually list mine between 35 to 40. You can see these top ones here are really rough shape. These were my son's, he wore them like so many times. You can see there's some heel drag, they're dirty. One of them's missing, like, um, I don't know, button or something there. But, yeah. Even with all that, they still sold for my full list price of $35. So, people always are looking for hunter boots. If, you know, if they feel like they're getting 20 to 25 bucks off retail, even though they're a little roughed up, they'll still buy them. They know that their kids are going to ruin them anyways. So, there are those. And I did want to mention, so, like, Things like that, like hunter boots, those are going to be over a pound. So I have I just keep these on hand. You can order them free from the post office. Padded flat rates. This is what I ship like hunter boots or snow boots or any shoe over a pound really as long as it will fit in here. It's going to ship for $7.75. Anything under a pound is going to ship for $5.75 or less via Kitizen. Um, you know I'm specifically talking about Kitizen right now, but on other platforms it could even, it could vary slightly, but yeah, under a pound's going to be under $6 for sure, 
on any platform and then the padded flat rate. Usually most of the shoes I sell fit in this. So you can order these free, just Google um, USPS padded flat rate free mailers and then you can order them. Quick note, when you do order these, they come in like either 10 or 15 packs, I think. So at the first time I ordered them, I didn't realize I thought I was doing quantity for how many I wanted. And I think I did like 10. So I, I ended up getting like 10 packs of 10. So make sure you just check that. If you only want like 10, then just order one quantity of 10 and not 10 quantities of 10. So luckily I use them all the time. So they got used, but all right. So next up. But yeah, most of these shoes, like baby vans, anything that's like toddler size, usually is under 8 ounces, so that's going to be under $3.75 to ship. So when I'm telling you these prices, like $25 to $30, that is a shipped price, um, so you do have to minus out the shipping cost from what I'm telling you. You can charge shipping separately on Kitizen if you want. It's all the same in the end, and most people don't like to feel like they're paying shipping so I know what it's going to cost to ship I just add that into the price so instead of saying I'm selling these Nikes for 20 plus four dollars shipping I'm just selling them for 25 dollars shipped if that makes sense so you just got to know what your items weigh and that will tell you how much that they're going to cost to ship all right so we did uh Adidas saltwater hunter boots uh, next up this is a brand that you may or may not have heard of it. Sea Kai Run. So Sea Kai Run. Not all of them are going to sell over twenty, um, but for the most part, I usually get around twenty. Again, these are like well, these top ones you see here are canvas, but they do make a really nice quality leather shoe as well, and I think retailing around fifty dollars. So that twenty-five dollar mark is about what I get for those. Um, these canvas ones are pretty popular, not necessarily just the buffalo plaid, but any of the canvas sneakers, high top sneakers, are. it's a pretty popular style for Sea Kai Run. Um, they got this fisherman sandals, and then some cute little woodland boots. So these ones here I did want to mention. So these are Sea Kai Run Basics. This is the Target line. So Sea Kai Run, again I said, is kind of a high priced kids shoe brand. The Sea Kai Run Basics are sold at Target for like 20 to 25 I think. You can see I still sold these for like $20 so people still will buy them close to retail so I, I still buy the basic ones if I find them for a couple bucks. But yeah. Alright next up on the list is uh, Dance Go. So I'm pretty sure everyone knows of Dance Go. The adult shoes. The like nursing clogs. I've only sold a couple pairs um, and actually I'm not even gonna show you the screenshot video because Dansko wasn't a brand when I sold them on Kitazen but I'll show up we'll put a screenshot on the screen. So I think I've sold two or three pairs of kids Dansko. They basically look like the nursing clogs um, and they've sold between 30 to 40 dollars shipped so yeah. I would still pick them up if I see them under 10 bucks probably. Uh, they've all sold really quickly and for a good amount. Again, those are going to be a heavier, so the ones I've shipped have shipped in a pad of flat rate. So just account for that when you're buying that they're going to be a little bit heavier to ship. Alright, so next up we're going to do Converse. So Converse are... You know, Converse don't retail for a ton. They only retail for like $30 for the little baby toddler sizes and maybe like 40 for the like youth sizes. But for some reason, I can usually still get about 20 to 25 for them. I've heard people say like some people like them a little bit beat up, so they will search for you shoes for Converse because they like the grungy look, I guess. I personally don't. I like my kids' shoes to look really nice, so... That's why they have a lot of shoes, but yeah. Um, regular Converse, I would say you can get right around that $20 mark, um, maybe to $25 if they're in excellent condition. You know, something that's like, like these are a little bit nicer, so I price them a little higher. These are also a use size. Um, and then like the baby soft sole crib shoe ones, I usually get, these ones I think were dirty, so I sold them for less, but I can usually get around $18 for the baby crib shoe ones. 
Um, I've noticed some colors do better than others. Red, green, white. Those ones usually sell really fast for me, whereas oh, yellow does really well. Um, black is a standard color. Like a lot of people have that for their kids, so there's a lot of quantity of them listed. So those ones don't sell for as much, but usually when I sell red, green, yellow, those ones, purples, those sell really fast and for the closer to $25 mark. All right, so after Converse, I have Chaco. Again, a really great adult brand as well. Of course, the kids' ones don't sell for quite as much. I think these Chaco kids' ones retail about 60. I usually get 30 to 35 for them. So you can see here, yeah, I haven't sold a whole ton of them on Kitizen. I, I've sold some on Poshmark. Yeah, Mercari eBay, so Again, these all these shoe brands are going to sell across the board about the same pricing. So yeah, so Chaco, they have sandals. Um, and then they have more of an actual shoe. They probably also have sneakers. I haven't come across any kids sneakers, but I have adult ones. But yeah, Chaco, if you find them, grab them. You're probably looking at about at least $30 for a, a very good condition pair. After Chaco's, I have Heelys. Um... I've actually just sold a couple pairs of Heelys ever, um, I within the last couple months, I think. And I don't think, let me see. Yeah, Kitazin doesn't have Heelys on the brand list, it looks like, so. I can't show you in the screenshots, but Heelys, I think I've gotten about $30 for them. Maybe closer, 30 to 35 but... Again, they don't retail for a ton, so um, 30 to 35 is about what I'm getting for them. And yeah, they've all, all the ones that I've listed, I think I listed two or three pairs, have sold really quickly. So uh, again, Heelys are going to be heavy. Get those padded flat rates. Uh, next up is uh, Birkenstock, another great adult brand to look out for as well. Again, the kids' ones are going to retail around 60 and I usually can get 35 or so for them if they're in great shape. And if they're not in great shape, you can still get a pretty decent amount. So, like, these ones were in really, I called them play condition. These were also on my wood background, so you can see I had no, this, the wood backgrounds when I first started reselling on Kitazin, and I was just buying stuff and listing it. I had no idea about comps or anything like that. I remember these selling so fast, I paid a dollar for them, and I was like, yes, I got $19. So, you know, I had no idea. I probably could have got 30 for them even back then. So, yeah, and these ones sold for less, but they were pretty rough shape. I've sold a lot of Birkenstock kids shoes on Poshmark as well. So yeah, you're looking at a good $30 if you can find some kids Birkenstocks or Birkies are also Birkenstocks. Um, not only the sandals, but you know, they have the clogs as well. So anything Birkenstock related is going to do really well. All right, next up is the brand. This one may or may not have heard of. I believe it's actually pronounced joyfully, but it's it's spelled J-O-Y-F-O-L-I-E. So they also make clothes and so there's also like a brand with it called Mia Joy, but I think, I don't know if they're the same or separate or sister brands, like I don't really understand it, but anyways, the shoes that I've sold for have been under the joyfully name. So let's see here. Again, these, I don't personally think they're great quality, but um, they sell decently. So if you ever find a pair of these like gladiator sandals, you're looking at a good 45, 40 to $45. They retail around 80. Um, I have found a couple pairs at the thrift store and I've also found some for sale on resale sites for low price that I bought off like different apps and then sold them again on the apps. And then otherwise they have little flats and stuff. So these I've gotten between $25 to $30 for. So, uh, yeah, these were all thrifted. So it's not just stuff that I'm buying retail arbitrage or anything like that. So I've, it's not a brand I come across every day, but I, I have found them and 
I just wanted to let you guys know if you ever see them, you might never have heard of it, and now you have, and you can get 30 bucks if you find a pair. Alright, next up is Puma. I don't know if I've sold a lot of Puma, but I wanted to just add it in. They do sell, again, Puma is a good adult shoe brand as well. Alright, so yeah, looks like only one. Um, I know I've sold more than one, but it must have been on another platform. So, Puma, I can usually get 20 to $25 for, I would say, um, if they're in good shape. So, I pick them up if they are a few bucks. Next up is Zara. So, everyone probably has heard of Zara for clothing, but I've sold a good number of their shoes and... I think they've all sold for over 20 so I just, I did want to, oops, I must have clicked on clothes. I just, I wanted to mention it for you guys, so. Uh, these top ones here were in horrible shape, so that's why those ones sold so low. Um, but yeah, the rest of them I think sold over 20 so. Uh, I found some, none of these ones, but I have found Zara shoes at like TJ Maxx for like $5, so I've picked those up. These ones, a lot of these I found on Facebook Marketplace and a couple of them from Once Upon a Child. So they're out there. If you find some Zara shoes, you're looking at probably $25 mark. Right next up is Under Armour. I think most of the Under Armour shoes I've sold are going to be slide sandals again. Yeah, so I think I must have sold most of them on other platforms too. But one pair of sneakers you see and then two pairs of slide sandals. So you're always looking at about $20 for the slide sandals and they usually sell very quickly. Alright, next up, Doc Martens. This is one of my favorite things to find, um, adult or kid. But yeah, the kids usually can get anywhere from 30 to 50 or so. It just really depends. I think I undersold myself on these ones here. These were really nice, but you know. If I'm making a profit, I'm happy. And then these ones say I sold them for $49, but I don't remember selling them for that much. So I might have sent this person an offer, but these were really cute. Um, but yeah, Doc Martens, great brand to look out for. Really nice quality shoe. You're looking at at least $30, I would say, if you pick up a pair. All right, uh, next up, this is a brand that may you may or may not have heard of. And again, I think that they make adult shoes. And don't laugh, but I, before I started this video, I had to like Google Translate a few of the pronunciations because I have never like actually said them out loud, only in my head. So I believe that this one was pronounced Palladium. So yeah, they do make adult shoes. They're just these cute little boots. Um, yeah, they do retail quite a bit. I would say you're looking at $25 to $30 if you find a pair. These two that you see here are purple leather, but I have sold some canvas ones as well. Must have been on another platform. So even those ones sold, I think, close to the $30 mark. So great brand to look out for. Uh, don't come across it every day, but I get pretty happy when I find them. All right, the next four are going to be, they're different brands, but they're all like snow boots. So again, like I said, when Once Upon a Child has their summer sandal kickoff, I'm always there at the door picking out all the sandals that I like. And then same thing in the winter, they're going to have their winter kickoff probably in August or so. And I'm going to be there at the door picking out all the Sorel. Um, again, this is something that I Google translated. I think it was... Kamek. I always thought it was Kamek. That's how I always said it in my head. But I think it's Kamek is what the Google told me. And then Columbia snow boots and then Boggs. So those are the four snow boots. So let's just look at them here really quick. Sorel, you can almost always get 30, $35 for the toddler size ones. All right. So yeah. You're going to see yeah, these little toddler, little kid size, I usually price around 35, between 35 to 40, and they usually sell around 35. So um, if you have like a nicer ones, like these, the U pack ones usually sell closer to 50 for me. Like this is the U pack ones. I think it's called the U pack. I did not, 
I could be pronouncing these completely wrong, so correct me if I'm wrong. Yeah, and then I think I've sold some pairs on Posh that were like more of the, I forgot what the style name is called, but they have like a, a fur on the top, and those ones sold closer to 50 as well, so. Again, the adult ones are going to sell for a lot more than that, but the kids ones, you're looking at about probably 35 to 50 depending on the style. And then the Kamek, all right, so these, again, probably around 30 to 35, I would say. Snow boots in general are going to be a great seller. I think all snow boots are going to be over a pound, so again, make sure you have your padded flat rates for these. Some of them are going to be too big to fit in this, which is something good to know for... I like selling my snow boots on Poshmark because of the shipping fee is the buyer pays it, but it's only 7 11 so it's less than a padded flat rate even. Because if it doesn't fit in this padded flat rate, Kittizen shipping is $10.50 for two pounds or $12.50 for three pounds. And I think most snow boots are going to be over that two pound mark. So $12.50 is what you're looking at. And yes, you can ship outside of Kittizen, of course, but remember that if you do that, you get charged your fee on your full total. So a lot of times it doesn't work out to be better, even though you find the shipping cheaper elsewhere. So just always remember to do your math breakdown if you're shipping outside of Kittizen. But yeah, probably looking at anywhere from 25 to 35 for Camix. And then Brand, next up, Boggs. So Boggs is probably one of my top 10 favorite brands in general to sell. They sell so well, so quick. Um, so these top ones you see here, these were brand new. So they sold for 50, well, it looks like they got a shop discount, so around 40 but these big ones retail for $80, and these ones had some, I forgot what this is called, but like where the, even though they were new, they have like the cloudiness on them. I think there's, that's called something, but I can't think of it at the moment. Anyways, so yeah. But these ones with the harder outside sell closer to the 40 sometimes even $45 mark. The ones with the soft sides, the little baby ones, usually sell right at the $35 mark. And if you're listing them at the right time of year, they're going to sell really quickly. And when I say that, I do list my stuff all year round. So if I found a pair of bugs in the summer, I'm going to list them in the summer. If they don't sell by August, September, I'll probably relist them. But if you list them right in August, September, they're probably going to sell a lot quicker. So that's just what I mean by that. All right, and then the last snow boot. I won't say that these are the only snow boots I pick up, but these were the four that come to mind that I find most often. And yeah, snow boots are one of my biggest things. I think last year I grabbed maybe 50 pairs at that boot kickoff and they all sold out within like a month, maybe two months at the most, so. All right, so yeah, Columbia. Sold a couple pairs of boots, 35, 40 bucks, and then a pair of sneakers for 30 bucks. So good brand to look out for. And then yeah, I am on my last brand on my list here. Um, can anyone guess what it is? I talk about it all the time. It doesn't sell for a ton, but for some reason it's probably the brand I've sold more of than anything else. Crocs. Um, Crocs, I won't say that they all sell for over 20. I know this is an over 20 brand video, but I did want to mention it just because a lot of them do sell for over 20 or right at the $20 mark. And if you don't pick up Crocs, you should be picking up Crocs. So like if they're Disney related or like, well, Star Wars, I was going to say Star Wars, but I guess Star Wars is Disney too. Those ones are going to sell for a little more. Um, these basic like navy blue and stuff ones, those are gonna sell probably more about $18, $19. But yeah, a lot of Crocs you can get over 20 bucks for, so I did wanna mention that, so. Those are my 30 or so shoe brands that sell, kid shoe brands that sell for $20 or more. So if you learned something today, let me know down in the comments if I touched on a brand you've never heard of or if 
I touched on a brand that you have heard of but never thought it could possibly sell for that much for a kid's item. I know a lot of people tell me that when I share brands in my Instagram stories, I'll if I'm out thrifting, I'll put a picture like, oh, look, I found some kids' vans. These are going to sell for $25. And people will message me like, oh, wow, I never realized that vans could sell for that much. So, baby vans. So, yeah, if you learned a new brand or something, leave it down in the comments. Let me know. Um, and, yeah, if you like videos like this, definitely hit that subscribe button. I'm planning on doing more. I do want to work on a kids' clothing brand that is $20 or more. And I'm, I'm doing $20 or more because... I mean, a lot of, at least for resellers anyways, want to be at the higher price mark. Um, I do sell stuff that's under $20, of course, but I wanted to make it worth it for you guys to be looking out for these brands. So a lot of things under 20 bucks doesn't sound that exciting to spend your time first buying and then photographing, listing, shipping. So thanks for watching, guys. If you liked it, please hit that thumbs up button um, and subscribe and... Yeah, leave me a comment. Thanks, guys. Bye.